What's going on everybody? Top 10 Pokemon back once again, bringing you our top Pokemon card auctions of the week. As always, we have a fantastic variety to go over, uh, but we're going to take special note of the numerous vintage booster boxes that sold via Heritage Auctions this week of all kinds of languages, first edition, unlimited, there were just tons and tons, so we're going to go over all of those at the very end. Folks, I always ask that you please give this video a like and please consider subscribing if you haven't already. But this week I also want to mention that if you do any shopping on eBay, please use my link below. It would really help out the channel a lot. The ad revenue that this channel receives is very minimal. Uh, so it would greatly help me out. So please use that eBay link below if you plan on doing any shopping on eBay or if you do any auction hunting as it would be greatly beneficial to the channel. All right, now that I got that out of the way, let's get into our auctions of the week. Starting out with some Vivid Voltage. I wanna go through a few amazing rare cards in PSA 10 to see exactly what they sold for. Here is a Zacian Amazing Rare in PSA 10 that sold for $43.99. A Zamazenta that sold for $44.99. A Celebi that sold for $77. And the Big Bad Rayquaza that also sold for $77. Now the reason I'm putting these in the auctions of the week is because, man, these are some low, low prices for these amazing rares, which I always knew they would get around this price because just the sheer quantity of them. But anybody who is interested in collecting amazing rares, especially from Vivid Voltage Man, now is your chance because these are some bottom of the barrel prices for you. And of course, the Celebrations graded cards are still hot. Let's go over a few of them. We have the Golden uh, Full Art Mew card that sold as a PSA 10 for $435 this week. We have the Umbreon Gold Star uh, from the Classic Collection that sold for $370. And we had a Shining Magikarp in PSA 10 from Celebrations that sold for $255. Numerous Charizards sold. Here is a PSA 10 that sold for $721. Another one sold for $821. Another one for $840. And then we had one here as a BGS 10 Pristine that sold for $1,625. Speaking of BGS 10s, we have a few more to go over. Here is a single strike Urshifu V in BGS 10 that sold for $202. Here is a Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX in BGS 10 from Chilling Rain that sold for $295 this week. The Glaceon VMAX from Evolving Skies sold as a BGS 10 for $355. And then of course the Black Label Charizard GX from Hidden Fates sold for an even $6,000. Here I have one more modern card to go over in this holographic Mew from Evolution set in PSA 10 that sold for $153. Now, if you recall several months ago, six, seven, eight months ago, this card had actually gone for over $700. Nowadays, it landed at around $153 in auction. All right, some cards from black and white set that I'm not sure we ever even seen on this channel before. Here is a Tornadus Full Art from Emerging Powers in PSA 10 that sold for $202.50. But then we had the Thunderous Full Art that only scored the price of $89. So I mean, like these are the big hitters of Emerging Powers. Emerging Powers doesn't have a lot of big hitters, but these are two of them. And the uh, $89 price tag is not too impressive. And we also had the Full Art Reshiram from Black and White set in PSA 10 sell for $589. Here is an awesome looking Ampharos Hollow from Pop Series 7 in PSA 10 that sold for $455. We have a Machamp Prime card from Triumphant Set that sold for $227. And then a Celebi Prime card that sold for $373. Folks, I'm still not a big fan of these Prime cards. Am I the only one not feeling these cards? Probably. Up next, we have a couple of Level X cards. Now, the Great Z from Z and G Emporium is listing a ton of PSA 10 Level X cards that'll be ending uh, next week, so I can't wait to see what kind of prices those hit. But here we have an Electivire Level X in PSA 10 that sold for $760. And then we had a Giratina Level X in PSA 10 that sold for $2,025. From Holon Phantoms, we had a Mighty Ina EX in PSA 10 that sold for $515 this week. And then from EX Delta Species, we had a Metagross Gold Star in PSA 10 that sold for $3,300. The Charizard Hollow from Stormfront in PSA 9 sold for $703 this week. And the only real noteworthy E-Series card that came by this week was this Gengar Hollow from Skyridge set that sold for $4,400. We had one card from the Neo Series, this Ampharos Hollow in First Edition 
got the PSA 10 and sold for $486. I believe Amphros, Steelix, the Blossom, those are like the highest pop Neo Genesis hollows you can get. They the, must be the easiest ones to grade. But yeah, this one, almost $500 for a PSA 10. And then we had a couple of jungle cards come by. Here's a first edition Pidgeot Hollow in PSA 10, sold for $1,350. And the first edition Victory Bell Hollow sold for $12,236. A bunch of no symbol Hollow cards came by from Jungle Set. Here's a Flareon Hollow that sold for $1,212. The Jolteon No Symbol sold for $3,175. The Nitto Queen here sold for $1,136. Uh, the Scyther sold for $997, and the Snorlax sold for $2,859. So the No Symbol Hollows from Jungle Set are an interesting animal because they're kind of like the Shadowless cards, or the Shadowless Hollows from Base Set. They're, for the most part, lower pop than both the Unlimited and First Edition cards, uh, yet don't command the premium of the First Edition PSA 10 Hollows, so they're an interesting group of cards. A couple of base set cards here. We have a first edition Shadowed Machamp card in PSA 10 cell for $600. This card was like a couple thousand dollars at one point. The Unlimited Venusaur Hollow sold for $1,575. And then a couple of Unlimited Blastoise Hollows. One sold for $2,705. The other one sold for $3,095. And then the last card on eBay here is this Dark Charizard Hollow that sold for $1,901 this week. All right, folks, on to the booster boxes. There were several booster boxes sold for most of these sets. I tried to pick out the median price, so here it is. Here we have a first edition Spanish base set booster box that sold for $22,800. Uh, the first edition German base set booster box sold for $20,400. The first edition French base set booster box sold for $52,800. The first edition Chinese base set booster box sold for $34,800. And then the Japanese base set booster box sold for $28,800. And then of course we had our run of the mill base set unlimited booster box that sold for $15,600. Making our way down the line here, we had an unlimited jungle booster box that sold for $6,600, while the first edition jungle box sold for $10,200. A first edition fossil box sold for $9,000 even while a base two booster box sold for $7,200. First edition Team Rocket box averaged about $10,800 this week. The Gym Heroes first edition box sold for $9,600, while this unlimited Gym Challenge box sold for $6,900, and the first edition Gym Challenge box sold for $11,400. A first edition Neo Genesis box sold for $20,400, and a Neo Discovery first edition box sold for $15,600. An unlimited Neo Revelation box sold for $9,900, while the first edition version had two sales, one for $20,400, the other one for $28,800. So quite a difference in price there. And of course we had an unlimited Neo Destiny booster box sell for $16,800. The Japanese Fossil booster box sold this week for $10,200. Japanese Team Rocket box sold for $10,800. Uh, the Japanese Gym Hero box sold for $9,600, while the Japanese Gym Challenge box sold for $10,800. The Japanese Neo Discovery Booster box sold for $10,800 as well. And then we had an EX Deoxys Booster box that sold for $36,000. And lastly for the booster boxes here, we had a case of six first edition uh, German base set booster boxes that sold for $156,000. It wasn't just booster boxes that sold on Heritage. We also had a ton of interesting cards for sale. Here is a four position only Doug Trio from Expedition Set that scored the BGS 9.5 and sold for $3,000 even. We had a four position only Clefable that got the BGS 8.5 and sold for $5,520. The FPO Blastoise got the 9.5 and sold for $1,920 while the FPO Charizard got the 9.5 as well and sold for $13,200. All right, here, this is kind of interesting. We had three uh, first edition base set Charizard hollows, all from different grading companies. Let's see what the prices of these went for. First up was the CGC9 Charizard that sold for $19,200. Second was the BGS9 Charizard that sold for $16,800. So going for a little bit less than CGC there. And then we had the PSA 9 that sold for $22,200. All 
So what do you all think of that? And then we had a CGC 9.5 base set Blastoise that sold for $8,100. A couple of Japanese cars to go over here is a CGC 8.5 Lucky Stadium Japanese promo card that sold for $32,400. And then we had a 2008 number two trainer world championships promo that sold for $43,200. Here is very interesting. We have a complete uh, Tropical Mega Battle complete deck, all graded CGC cards that sold for $108,000 for all these cards. Very, very tough to get your hands on cards like these, and they command quite the premium, as you can see. So folks, the Booster Box Auction of the Week has to go to this first edition base set Booster Box in English that sold for $312,000. And the Card Auction of the Week has to go to this Test Print Blastoise card, got the CGC 6.5, and sold for $216,000. As you can see, it has a Magic the Gathering backing on it. This was the prototype card they showed off, one of the very first illustrations of Blastoise, and it's a very, very iconic card. All right, folks, that's all I got for you. There's quite a bit to digest there. Let me know what you thought of these auctions in the comments below. And like I said, if you got any shopping to do on eBay, please use my link below. I would greatly appreciate it, and it would help out the channel tremendously. Thank you for watching, folks. I will see you all very soon.